Hi, I'm Ralph and welcome to Awesome Astronomy on YouTube. In this episode, we're going to look at the Moon, specifically why the Moon appears upside down in different hemispheres. That's right, you penguin fanciers, time to fess up. You've been mucking about with the Moon projection hologram again, haven't you? Coincidentally, the answer to this question is a great argument against the ever-rising tide of flat earthers. Try and get them to explain this one. And while you're waiting for your local flat earther to adjust their tinfoil hat, help us out by hitting the subscribe button and liking the show. And maybe share your thoughts with us on the topic in the comments below. If you've never journeyed outside of your resident hemisphere, you might be wondering what on earth we're referring to. Surely the moon looks the same to everyone. In the Northern Hemisphere, you'll be familiar with a view like this. Quite often, we refer to seeing the man in the moon, a prime example of pareidolia, the human tendency to see patterns, particularly faces, in inanimate objects. Bodies in space are particularly prone to pareidolia. If we look at Mars alone, there's the face on Mars near Cydonia Base, which is just a fortuitously placed shadow on the mountain. The elephant's face in Elysium Plantia, which is just an amusingly shaped lava flow. And who can forget the Martian mermaid, which looks like a mermaid with outstretched arm lounging on a rock. Though I'm sure your opinion changes when you realise it's actually only about six centimetres tall. And you remember Mars has no oceans and no atmospheres. Even in mythology, half fish humans have to breathe somehow. But back to the moon. In much of Europe and North America, we see the man in the moon. However, if you live near the equator, you might be more familiar with the rabbit in the moon, a tale that originated in China, but is now common throughout Asian cultures. And we even find it in unrelated native cultures of the Americas. And you might have noticed that as we've moved to Asia and therefore more southerly latitudes, the moon has rotated, most notably the position of the bright Tycho crater, the large one at the bottom of the moon for those in the northern hemisphere, this has changed, as have the dark mare or seas. By the time we get to the southern hemisphere, Tycho Crater is not at the bottom of the moon, but right at the top. Those of you down under will be more familiar with this moon, and in New Zealand Maori culture, tells of Rona and the tree and container of water she was clutching when she was plucked from the earth after cursing the moon. But why does the moon seem to look different, depending on where you're looking from? After all, it's, well, it's the same moon we're all seeing. And it all boils down to living on a spherical planet. Sorry, Flat Earthers, there's no explaining this one away. Imagine you're standing at the North Pole and a friend is standing at the South Pole. Although as far as you're both concerned, you're both standing upright relative to the ground. Your heads are actually pointing in opposite directions. You at the North Pole, when you look at the moon, you see the dark mare or the seas near the top of the moon and the bright Tycho crater at the bottom. Your friend at the South Pole looks at the moon with an upside down head. So they see the mare at the bottom and bright Tycho at the top. It's exactly the same as how the world looks upside down when you bend over and look between your knees. The world is still the same way it's always been, but now your head is upside down. So it too looks upside down. And those of you in the Southern Hemisphere are probably quite disgruntled by our saying that the moon is upside down in the Southern Hemisphere because of course, to you, it's absolutely the right way around. It comes from our convention that north is up and south is down, just like the poles of planet Earth and the poles of any other body in the solar system. North Pole is at the top and South Pole is at the bottom. By this convention, the northern hemisphere view with the lunar north pole at the top is the traditional way of viewing the moon and describing the phases. Which is just another point, just as the moon is flipped upside down in the southern hemisphere because our heads are upside down in the southern hemisphere, it follows that all the phases are also flipped. So for example, moon in the northern hemisphere looks like this. Yet in the southern hemisphere, it looks like this. And the lunar shadow chases the moon in opposite directions. 
and if that wasn't mind-bending enough, at the equator, your head is tilted to the side, so the moon is also tilted to the side. And a crescent moon is like a cosmic smile. So there you have it. The moon appears upside down in different hemispheres because we live on a spherical planet. And in different hemispheres, our heads are upside down. Or on the side, if you live near the equator. If you like this video, do go and check out our podcast at the links below. And please also help this YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button here and liking the show. Until next time, it's goodbye from Cydonia Base.